Hello, my name is Gary Lanier, and welcome to uh, this video, the Lanier Verbatim Memory System, and uh, this is part two. So I think what we're going to do in this uh, segment is to go over all the uh, various parts that I have come up with that work for me in memorizing uh, scripture, and for that matter, other words, any other uh, thing that you want to remember uh, verbatim. So I thought I'd choose uh, something from the uh, Old Testament this time, uh, Psalm 118, verse 17. Now this is a good one for us to look at because it's, it's short and uh, you can get involved with this uh, later in just a little bit. So when I look at this, this right here, Psalm 118, in my mind's eye, this, this right here, I call this the, the, the verse address, this is address. It gives me a what I call a memory environment in which I place the whole verse in. So, the Psalm 118, I get that in my head, and then I say uh, verse 17, and I see where that is in this memory environment. And right here, this also cues me as to what the title, or basically the first word in the verse is. And for this one, Psalm 118, verse 17, it is I. And now that word I cues me as to the other words that are in the verse. And so I thought I'd just kind of demonstrate just a little bit. And then we'll go from there and give the basic concept of how you go about doing this. And uh, instead of starting at the top, I'm going to kind of start at the bottom here and uh, just go back, okay? Because that will give, show you the power of uh, this system. So what do we have here? Well, I'm going to put Lord right there. That's the last word. Well, what's next to that? The word the. Well, what's next to the the? The word of. What's next to the word of? Works. All right, that's pretty good. Well, now I start here. Now, I'm going to start at the last part of this line here and see what we come up with. So what do I have here? The word the. What's next to that? How about declare? What's next to uh, declare? And. And then what's next to and? Live. Okay, that just leaves us with this part up here. <laughs> well, we just start right there. Shall. All right, we'll go over here. All right, but, not. And then the last is die. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? So how do we go about doing this? Well, I found out something. I am terrible at explaining my system to anyone. So I've invited someone very special to come here that I look up to in more ways than one. And this person is my wife, and I look up to her because of her strong character and her strong beliefs in the, the right things. And then I look up to her because she's taller than me. So, Belita, would you come? I want to introduce hi, you to Gary. my wife. Hi, Belita, Gary. say hi, hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad to be here. Okay. Yeah. Now, I want you to help me with this. Uh, we end up with the verse that says, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. That's a great verse. And I work from the back to the front. Now, I going noticed. this way is pretty easy. But then when you realize that you can go from the back to the front, you say, hey, this may be worth looking at because... Man, that is that seemed like it'd be difficult to do. Well, really and truly, Gary, uh, I admire what the work that you've done. And for all of you out there that are listening, I'm a novice at this. Mm -hmm. So this is new for me for yeah. memory using your memory system, but I have it, found it was a novice it, for me too. <laughs> <laughs> I've found that it really works. And you explained it to me so well about how you do it that I thought maybe that we could just take it apart mm -hmm. step by step and show people not only the phenomena of how you could do this from the back mm -hmm. to the front, but how the, what the actual steps are in doing it. All so, the components. All the components. Mm -hmm. So I thought we would just erase all of this oh, and right. start all over well, again. What am I going to do now? It's blank. <laughs> 
Now we're blank. Now we That's really. That's a blank memory environment. Yeah, There's yeah it is. <laughs> now we really get down to okay. how this system works. Okay. And you told me, first of all, you come up with a memory environment. Mm -hmm. I've already heard you mention that several times. Memory environment. So For that, every verse, there's a memory right. environment. And the uniqueness about your system is that it is verbatim. Mm -hmm. It's each word verbatim. So for all of you that are watching this video out there, let me encourage you. We're going to go through this as quickly as we can. Mm -hmm. Step by step. Step kinda, by huh? step. Mm -hmm. But there's kind of a lot to it. So as we go through it step by step, if you find someplace you don't quite understand or what we did or you want to go over it again, yeah. just stop the video, back up, and start all over again. Well, that's a good okay? idea, isn't it? Because <laughs> we're going to go through it pretty fast, yeah. okay? So you talk about a memory environment, and you came up with three S's to remember for your memory environment. Yes. This is real important for you S, to remember. Yes. As Gary writes S. this down, mm -hmm. uh, for us, for Gary and I, I memorized this verse also. For us, we have the same memory environment for this verse, mm -hmm. but it could be completely different for you. Yeah. For us, it's the front of the place where we live. Ah, that's right. Right? Mm -hmm. And this S stands for the street now we're going to put something in the street in just a few minutes <laughs> this is cool. this s stands for the sidewalk in okay. front of the street so in other words you we imagine ourselves standing out in the street mm -hmm. looking up toward our residence mm -hmm. and we see the street the sidewalk now the s stands for mm -hmm. what gary structure the structure s t r u c t u r e the structure so there's three places in your memory environment mm -hmm. now what we hang on the street gary i thought if you just write underneath there what we put on the street is actually the book mm -hmm. that we're memorizing yes. like psalm a little book. while ago the book and, and the chapter the chapter number Chapter number. Okay. Chapter number. Now, this is cool because these three S's give order. It gives you a way to go, a procedure, yes. a sequence. S, yes. S, S. Street, yes. a familiar street, a familiar sidewalk <laughs> that's familiar to this street, <laughs> and a familiar structure, which can be, you know, a building, a house. Yes. Uh, just a, 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 a monument or anything. Well, probably in later videos we'll talk about different uh, memory environments that you could use but for this one we're just talking about this memory environment yes, okay yes. and so the, on the street we put our book in our chapter mm -hmm. on the sidewalk gary we mm -hmm. put our verse and the title of our verse this is a verse is that right? number Verse mm -hmm. number, the verse, verse number, number and, and the, title the title of the verse. Which is generally the, the first word, well, but not necessarily. But not necessarily. But for mm -hmm. this one, it is. Mm -hmm. On our structure, we put the rest of the verse. Mm -hmm. So we put the bulk, really the bulk the of the verse. Of All of what you saw verse. Gary writing out goes on this mm -hmm. structure. Okay. okay. So, Gary, let's see if we can as quickly as possible mm. show them how you put this together okay. using this okay. right here do you want to do that what we're going to do is take a stop here because we're running out of our, okay. our five or eight right. minute time and we'll come right back to you and begin right after all right that. okay all right. All right. so we'll be right Hang back there and you'll just stay see it with in us instantly. okay and Bye. we'll be right back okay we have our okay. street our Gross. sidewalk our structure that yeah. is exactly right and now we're going to show you how gary created this um uh, this using this memory environment mm -hmm. how you memorize this book i mean this verse mm -hmm. in psalm yeah okay so on the street gary okay let's let's erase this but don't forget your sss because mm -hmm. it's really important okay I'm leaving okay the street there. okay gonna leave the street there okay so on your street now now let me say first for for those of you this is something that i had to learn and i'm still learning there are several fundamental things that you need kind of in your in your toolkit right. in order to do 
this memory system and put it together. Yeah. And some of them have been around. Some of them have been around for years and years and years like and years. Like over a thousand. Mm-hmm. Right, over a thousand years. Like uh, uh, a, num- a number system mm-hmm. where you take, uh, you have sounds, consonant sounds for mm-hmm. numbers from zero to nine. That, that's what okay. we're going to do, uh, do here. That, uh, we're going to use that. That's number. used within this system. So mm-hmm. if you don't know about that, you can, you can find mm-hmm. multiple places for them to learn about that. On the Internet. And the other one is what you call substitute words, right, Gary? Mm-hmm. So we're going to, in the midst of showing you how this memory system works, we also incorporate substitute words. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to talk about three different alphabets. Oh, really? Three different alphabets. I'm just familiar with the one. (laughs) There's actually three different alphabets that we're going to talk about, and they're called... uh, Mm -hmm. Alpha characters. Alpha characters, and we'll show you what we're talking about in just a few minutes. So hang in there. Don't uh, don't go anywhere, and we're okay. going to show you how this works. So on your street, Gary, we need to know how did you remember your book mm-hmm. and your chapter? Well, okay, I visualized that we use mnemonics. These are anything that uh, that helps you to remember that, that you can hang stuff on. And so in the middle of the street, I'm trying to think. Okay, the book for Psalms. Uh, what can I do? And so it's, I think you know what I'm talking about here. I visualize a big palm tree, P-A-L-M, and that's my word. That's my image for psalm, see? So I can see this palm tree down like this. Okay, you know? so in other words, There any, it is right there. It's, it's in the street. Right there it is. Oh. Any book, any verse in the book of Psalms, mm-hmm. You would use a palm tree. A palm tree. To remember it. On okay? a different street. On a different, on a different in a different sidewalk. memory environment. Yeah. Uh-huh. But right now, Isn't this memory environment is in front of our house. Remember? Yeah. Our street, our sidewalk, and our yeah. structure. This is a mechanical way of doing this. It's not, you know, like I'm, I'm sitting here praying about it and all that. I mean, what you can do. But I'm telling you, it's just mechanical. I have ADD. I have a problem, and I've got to do something that keeps me focused on what I'm trying to remember. Well, the other thing is, Gary, I don't have ADD, Mm -hmm. but I can tell you if I got up over 50, 100, 200 verses, I don't think I could remember them all. (laughs) So this helps. Okay, so we're we're remembering Psalm by the Psalm. Mm -hmm. Now tell us how you remember the chapter. Okay, we're looking at chapter uh, 118, okay? Right. All right, this number here, 118. Uh, I put that together. I use what is called the, uh, the master system, just master system. It, it's the system where you're using the consonances. Uh, and, and In from the place of the numbers. What you do is you make words out of the consonances, and those words are tangible. You make tangible words, and then you put it into the memory environment. In other words, number one, uh-huh. the consonant sounds for number one is what? T or duh. T or duh. So mm-hmm. you make yeah, words t, out of t or t duh. T or, or, or d. And that kind of looks like a one, you know. Like okay. A, All right. So we have one, one, eight. What okay. is the consonant sound There's for There's a one, eight. one, and an eight. All right. It's um, an F sound, th, or a V sound, v. You know, P-H has that sound, P-H. like phone. You know, okay. You know, so, so any word. That's what we do. So we need a word that makes a consonant sound, T or D, T mm-hmm. or D, and a PH or an F mm-hmm. or a V. And they're kind of all together, see? Mm-hmm. And okay. so here's what I chose. And you can choose your own. See, when you learn the uh, the major system, you just go ahead and come up with your own concepts. Then it's uniquely uh, yours. So with this one, I've got a T there. That's a T. Well, and then I use the duh here. You know? And then I use the F there. Uh-huh. Here's my word. Teed. Like a golf tee. There's a golf tee. Maybe with a golf ball on it. Off. O-F-F. There's two Fs there, but you, you only get the sound of the, of the F sound, so it's just one, okay? And that's okay. my eight. See? All right. right so there. what you see on your street when you're looking out there mm-hmm. is a palm tree. Yes. And um, maybe a golfer there who's already teed off. Teed off. And the yeah. golf ball's flying you out said there. He, it's he already teed done. Off. Yeah. So immediately he, he you know. He didn't tee off. He teed off. And so <laughs> immediately you know oh, Lord. it is the book of Psalms. It's crazy. Isn't it? <laughs> it's the book of Psalms. 
and mm -hmm. it's the golfer has teed, so it's two, one, mm -hmm. one yeah. off. Off. And that stands for eight. Eight. So we have Psalm. Psalm. 118. 118. Now, see, it's in the street. So it's always in the street for your book and your chapter. Okay. Is that cool as it can so be? So that is as cool as it reads. So okay. let's put Psalm up there, Gary. Okay. So, so for our street, we have the book is Psalm. Psalm. And we have 118. Okay. It's already there. Chapter 118. 118. Okay. So now let's draw a line mm -hmm. because we're going to talk about now we know our book and our chapter. Now we're going to the sidewalk where we have to remember our verse. <laughs> I think there's an L in there. Yeah. <laughs> where we have to remember our verse and the title yeah. of the it's, verse. It's the verse number and then what I call the title. And most of the time, it's just the first word of the verse, because that's generally all you need to put everything else on. But now, remember, you're not on the street anymore. Now you're up on the sidewalk. So mm -hmm. keep your memory environment in the right position, and you'll be able to remember. Mm -hmm. Believe me, you will, because I've done this, and it really does work. <laughs> all right, so, Gary, what mm -hmm. is our verse here? Okay, on this sidewalk, first of all, I look, I see there is the palm tree, there is the golf tee, and the golf ball, the guy teed off we i see that yeah psalm 118 now look here verse number i'm looking on a sidewalk and i don't see anything so what you do there when you're coming up with this you place something there what's the number at this place okay the number is 17 mm -hmm. we want to remember verse 17 okay okay so we're going to use the same numeric master code that we used here uh -huh. and so number one stands for t or, t or d, d and number seven stands for mm -hmm. the k sound the k sound or the hard c k uh, yeah uh -huh. k. Mm -hmm. okay so what word did you come up oh with? that's a good one tack okay tack. Now here's the tack i put this tack on that sidewalk all right matter of fact i put a bunch of tacks you know just just you just Use the, the one tack sound, though, all right? Okay, so already now you There's know on tack. the sidewalk, when you look at your sidewalk, you Tacks see a tack. Tack, 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 tack. And you remember, that's my word for 17. And they can mm -hmm. come up with their own yeah, words. Yeah, you can come up with your own, or you can go ahead and use this. It's fun, uh -huh. you know, to yeah. do. Okay, okay, so they remember, uh, you remember tack, mm -hmm. and so you know your verse number is 17. Mm -hmm. Now, Gary, the title, I remember you saying the title was I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, ha and that belongs on the sidewalk also. Okay. The so, first number and the title. All right. All right. So, how do you put okay. our, I have put I put the, I, I put the, the title on with the tack. All right. In other okay. words, whatever it is, it's going to be tacked. Okay. And so, I see a big old eyeball. Here, like that, you know. Something oh, on like top that. of the tax. Mm -hmm. And it's get. It may be almost like a basketball eyeball, you know. And a tack hits it, and it may explode. It may deflate or whatever. So you see that. You see it. You have your familiar street where you see the palm tree and the guy teed off. Now you see the familiar sidewalk that you know all about. And you see his yes. tacks on there, yes. pointed up, and the eyeball is being punched and, and deflated. Okay. So there you have, that's the address of this verse. All right. Is that cool? Let's put in. All right. Let's put in number 17 right here, Gary. Just write in number 17. 17. And the title, title is I. I. Okay. Okay. All right. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to take a break. We're going to take a momentary break. Okay. We have our street, book, chapter, sidewalk, verse number, title. Okay, Gary. Now we're ready to go to our structure. All Which is right. what holds the bulk mm -hmm. of the entire rest of the verse. Okay, I'll put structure right here. Okay. Underline that. Uh -huh. All right, straight sidewalk structure. Okay. Now, this is where we get into talking to you about using what we call alpha characters. This is what Gary mm -hmm. came up with. I call them with. ACs. 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 Alpha characters. ACs. They're very, very important. It's... You come up with three different alphabets, and you can this is fun. You can kind of do this as you go along and need them, or you could do it all at, at the very beginning, couldn't yeah. you? Mm -hmm. 
I, okay. I, I like to just kind of pick them out as I go. But you can uh, look, get you a notebook and, and, and go from A to Z and you, and you can start your alpha characters. And the, uh, and the first is like you know, lady alpha characters. Now, these are just people that you know. Or someone you know of, or someone stars, famous, yeah, mm-hmm. famous and all that. But uh, what I have, I have a whole alphabet of the ladies, and they, they're my L, my lady ACs. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, and then you have your men, lady ACs, and then your mm-hmm. men ACs. Yeah. For instance, I have A is Andrea. Okay. All right. Anyway, and you go from A to Z like that. A to Z like that, mm-hmm. and then you have your men ACs. Okay, these are different modes. My L, mo- uh, my L AC, my my male AC, which and is man. You know, you can do Andre uh, Agassi. You know, it could be your your A. Okay, and, and then, then you Z. have Zorro. others. What you call <laughs> others, others ACs? I call them yeah you know, the the O mode. Okay, you have the L mode, the the M mode, and the O mode. And, and the, that can be yeah, others, places, or animals, you, or yeah. anything, anything that's tangible. not people. <laughs> anything that's tangible that you can touch, see, and, and that type of thing. So, what and, do you have for A on that? Well, well, uh, alligator. Okay. <laughs> see, but here, uh, the O is anything that's not men or ladies. Right. So, it, I mean, you just use your own imagination for that. And uh, you know, I made a notebook, and I have all three of these in there. So. Okay. Gary, right now I'm going to race right here what you said about the alpha characters mm-hmm. because it's real important. You could go back and look at that part on the video. Yeah. But the alpha character is determined. Every structure, every verse that you remember, you need alpha characters in order to remember them in the structure part of the verse. Mm-hmm. Okay? So remember that. You need an alpha characters to remember in the structure part of the verse. Now, and now, how do you know what the alpha that's what character say. is? Where do you get your alpha character from? From the title, and it's generally the first word. Okay. And it just so happens in this, this it's only one, only one letter, and it's I. Who determines the title? Okay. You do, right? Correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Based on how long the verse is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we have a short verse we're dealing with, and we'll talk to you more about that later. We have a short verse we're dealing with right now. Mm-hmm. So the title of this verse is just one word, yeah. I. Now, if it's a long verse, like the longest word in the New Testament, which is Revelation 20, verse 4, it uh, my, my title for that is three words. But that's all it is, just, and I saw. Well, that is seven letters, which you use uh, seven modes of alpha characters. From the ladies and the men and the others, mm-hmm. or you, whichever yep. one you start first yeah. with. Okay, so I mm-hmm. is going to determine our alpha character. Yeah. But we okay. have to decide which alpha character list mm-hmm. to take it from. Which Whether mode? it's ladies, mm-hmm. whether it's men, or whether it's others. So tell us how you decide that. Okay. Well, if I was doing verse 1, you know. Uh, my thought is ladies first, and then the second verse will be then the men. And here's what makes it easy. When you get in the middle of the, the chapter and you're on verse 11 or 13, you know, well, who starts that thing? So here's the way to do it. Ladies first, verse 1. Well, 1 is, is that an even number or an odd number? Odd. Okay, so ladies are odd. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But always, always say ladies first anyway. And that, that, that gets me going see all right verse two uh, would be well the, that's an even number so that's the men they're okay. even killed you know so that means that verse uh uh 20 would be what it'd be even it's even so it would be men, men. and then 25 would be ladies in other words you would use your alpha character name mm-hmm. to help you remember yes Okay. Yeah. We want to stay focused on what why we're using these. Yes. Okay. That's very so important. I. Mm-hmm. Right here. All right. My, the lady that I have for I is Irene. Okay. Do you know an Irene? You may not. And that's determined because we're starting with verse 17. Mm-hmm. And that's an odd verse. Mm-hmm. That's an odd verse. So okay. you're odd. <laughs> yeah. So because mm-hmm. we, your determination of which alpha character to begin with, Mm-hmm. is determined by the verse number. Yeah. 
verse number. Mm -hmm. And the verse number here is 17, which is odd. Mm -hmm. So that means you would use an alpha character right here for the first letter mm -hmm. of whatever the title of your verse is, yeah. which is I here. Mm -hmm. So Gary has gone to his alpha character list and his I for his women alpha character, his ladies, is mm -hmm. Irene. Which happens to be correct? your middle name. Is see? that uh, uh, I got that right. That, that, absolutely right. Okay. You learned something right. here. Huh? Now, if you didn't quite catch all that, just run it back through mm -hmm. and, and listen to it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Irene, yeah. she's going to be very important. Yeah, yeah. All right. Each of my alpha characters hold four words. Irene's going to hold on to four words for us. So we start with her, mm -hmm. but she she's not the only one we're going to use in this verse. No, she's not. We're going to go from her to the guys. Then we're going to go to the men. And then we go to. Uh, then we're going to go to the others. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so you want to write those down there? Sure. Okay. What is your What is your alpha character name for I in your men's list? Ivanhoe. Ivanhoe. It, as okay. a kid, I grew up loving Ivanhoe with his, you know, his his lance and all, and the, the big long pole. He's on the horse and has his helmet on and the armor and all that stuff. That's Ivanhoe. He's gonna hold four words. Okay. And then uh, Ivanhoe. Yeah, we have to. Have I just him put really Ivan for short. Okay. okay? And then so that leads us. Then we still need another I word. Yeah. I hope so they can we go. All that up. So we go to the I mm -hmm. here, and that is what. Okay. Here it is, igloo. Okay. Isn't that silly? I G L O O. Okay. So All probably. Right. Gonna... And so when we come back mm -hmm. in just a minute, believe it or not, we're finally going to get to this structure to verse, right here. And you're going to learn how to you, do this. Show you how Irene, mm -hmm. Ivanhoe, mm -hmm. and the Igloo yes. are going to help you remember <laughs> Psalm 118, verse it 17. It's so stupid, but it's not. <laughs> okay. Now we're ready, Gary, to put the, the yeah. whole thing together. On the structure. Okay. And we're going to use Irene, Ivanhoe, mm -hmm. and the igloo, believe it or not, to memorize this verse out of Psalm, this wonderful, wonderful verse that uh, God really gave to bless you. Okay. Okay, so Are we, we start with Psalm 118, okay. verse 17. And it starts with I. I. Okay, so. Right, now, we're going to put our eyes down here, okay? Okay. These are like little lines in, in the paper that holds four words each. You know, if you had a line drawn across the paper, this, this kind of lets us have okay. some organization here, okay? And I want to remind everybody that, remember, each alpha character <laughs> holds four letters just four mm -hmm. i mean this, four words just four words okay uh, this is irene this is the male this is ivan and this is the others okay okay all right so let's start with irene mm -hmm. and remember now we're putting this we were in the street then when we were on the sidewalk now we're looking at our structure and we're looking at it beginning Gary, I like what you said uh, about, what is it, look at the top and read like a clock, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. In the structure, uh, if it's your house, is the first is going to be the roof, the first position. I, we have four positions, all right? The first position, one is roof at the top, mm -hmm. all right? Read like a clock. To the right, this is two. Okay, the right side of your house, our house, that's where we have a flower bed that we're going to be looking at. Okay, and then three is at the bottom. Start at the top, read like a clock. It can be the front door, your porch, whatever. And then four, all right, start at the top, read like a clock. One, two, three, four. This could be your garage, anything, you know, that's there that you In can see. In any memory environment you choose, it would be the same way. It'd be Start the same at the way. top and read mm -hmm. like a clock. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But it would be a different memory environment. Okay. It'd be a different structure. It'd be a different sidebar. Right. It'd be a different street. Okay. So we want you to know that what we're sharing with you uh, in this video 
is what we have used yes. as our memory environment as a way for you to see how it works, that right, works. Gary? Uh -huh. Okay, so we start with mm -hmm. the first I, mm -hmm. which is the or, ladies, and mm -hmm. that was Irene. Irene, this is Irene. You don't write this as part of the scripture. Right. That's just a. That's uh, just a memory. When help. you're doing this for yourself to study, that's just to help you. All right. That's a line there. All right. Okay. Four words. So the first thing we do is Irene is doing something in the first place, which is on top of the house. Okay. So after I, our first word is shall. Shall. All right. Okay. I want a tangible, a substitute that I can look at in my mind's eye and see that tangible thing, the object on top of my house, see, and it's connected with Irene. And I see Irene on top of this house, and you know what you're doing? You're throwing shells Just at cars out in the street. Throw. All right, now don't think about that. Forget it. Right? You, don't. <laughs> you don't. You remember it. Okay. All right? All I right. shell. All right. <clears throat> Now she's on the side over here, mm -hmm. and she's in the middle of a flower bed because we have a flower bed on this side of our house. You tell me and, what she's uh, doing. Uh, she is in the flower bed in the middle of a bunch of roses, and she's knotting up the rose vines. K-N-O-T. Uh, yeah, she's making up. knots, but that stands for my word not, N-O-T. Okay. I shall not. I shall and not. Now she's in front. Mm -hmm. Of Irene. our house, Irene this is. Irene. This is still Irene. She's in front, and she's doing something completely different. Mm -hmm. She has her head bent over, mm -hmm. and she has putting her hair in a bunch of red dye. Dye. And so D Y E mm -hmm. stands for my word dye. D I E. I -E. Okay. I, sh I shall not die. Shall not die. See, and then all of a sudden, Irene is over here on the right side. I mean, on the, the left, left side, side of mm -hmm. our house. Mm -hmm. And um, we have a doorway over here. Yes, we do. And uh, she's standing there, and she is holding a gun. Mm -hmm. I see her with a big rifle, Gary. Rifle. All of a sudden, mm -hmm. boy, that red hair, mm -hmm. is, she's standing there with a gun, mm -hmm. and she is cramming the butt of that gun down on the floor. B-U-T-T. B-U-T-T, the butt of the gun. It turns but it into stands for butt. B U. T. Okay. But, yes. I shall not die, but. All right. That's right. Now, now the next thing we do is we go to Ivanhoe. Ivan. Because he's next in our alpha characters, and he's going to hold four words. On so, the same structure. Same structure. Except it's just him up there now. That's right. Uh, we, we, I mean, Irene, she's gone. She's done mad. That's right. <laughs> we start at the top, yeah. and Ivanhoe is doing something on top of our roof. Mm -hmm. What's he's happening? coming out of the top of his helmet. He has a big leaf. That's coming out of the top it. of his helmet, mm -hmm. and that leaf stands mm -hmm. for my word, live. L-I-V-E. L-I-V-E. Now, see, all these are, are, are the ch to trigger you. It's like learning another language, see? You see it, and then you translate it into the right word, see? Yes, and Le now... Live, you know, you have to stretch these things. Imagine, all right? Now I have Ivanhoe. For me, mm, like I have Ivanhoe here. over here in the flower bed. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. on his horse, Aww. but this time, instead of his horse having hooves, mm. his like horse that. has all these big hands, and hands, hands. is my word for and. And, okay, A N. D, a horse with hands. Stands for hand. Well, I now didn't do I have it that way. Ivanhoe in front of our house. Yeah. And he's just standing there in all of his armor, and it has decals all over it. Cow, C O W? Decals. Decals. Oh, decals. Stickers. 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 Decals. decals all mm -hmm. over him. Mm -hmm. And that stands for my word, declare. D E C L A R E. Can't read it, Harley. Yeah. Declare. Declare. Okay. Declare. Mm -hmm. And then Ivanhoe moves over here. Mm -hmm. And this time I don't see Ivanhoe. Mm -hmm. He has just gotten on his horse and walked over here mm -hmm. to the left side of a building. And all I see is the back of his horse. Yeah. And his tail is swishing in a big cup of tea. A big cup of hot tea? A hot Stirring tea. Stirring it up with and his I tail. Love, I love hot tea. Well, that, you have but some crazy imagination. I know, I know, I know. Start the top, read so like a clock. Tea is my word that stands for 
the the uh-huh, or the the, the mm-hmm, or the mm-hmm. okay all, all right. right so then we move to the o mm-hmm. remember now we remember we're doing igloo. now we're doing our alpha character o mm-hmm. and it's going to hold four words again mm-hmm. and our alpha character for o is is what igloo igloo I, i'm not gonna Right igloo. Yeah, igloo. <laughs> oh, no, you don't, have, you don't have to write igloo. Mm-hmm. And so our igloo now is in the same structure where mm. Irene and Ivanhoe is, yeah. but it's doing something completely yeah, different. Yeah, it's associated with entirely different. It's like all of these are just layers, and you're putting a different layer up there now. But they get believe me, let me tell you, I have, I've worked on this. Mm. I've done this. I've never done this before, and I've done this. And I'm going to tell you, it does not get confusing. You can keep mm-hmm. it in your mind completely clear clear so now my igloo is on top of the building and the top part of the igloo Mm -hmm. something is not right up there and there are workers all over the top of my igloo guys with hard hands yeah they're working so that stands for works Works. okay and then my igloo goes Mm -hmm. over here into the flower bed an igloo in a flower bed yeah don't remember that. Don't remember an igloo in a flower <laughs> And the igloo is in the flower bed. Uh-huh. And, uh, Gary, there are insects are all around this igloo. Well, that's not the word we're looking for, though. I know. It's mm-hmm. not. And so someone comes up there with a can of off. Off? Off. And he just starts spraying my igloo with off. Mm-hmm. And that well, stands for of. Okay. Well, that's pretty close to off. <laughs> Another F would have made it. Okay. I know it. And then my igloo all of a sudden is at my front door, mm-hmm. and this time the igloo's melting down melting. into yes, melting. Mm. It's melting down into another big cup of tea. Oh. But see, it doesn't get confused with this one because mm. it's well, Valida, what well, happened? Well, I, I don't know, Gary. I was talking about <laughs> that my igloo was at the front door <laughs> and huh? it was melting, and uh-huh. something happened that we just got cut off. Okay. But but that's not going to stop us from no, finishing no, we're gonna, this. We're is almost it? through. We're almost and through. I tell you what, we got more than cut off. I had to re put all this stuff up there. Okay. Yeah. Well, do you have your red marker well, still? Let's, uh, yeah. Well, oh, I'll okay. see if this one works. All right. Okay. Well, get your red marker okay, because the igloo mm-hmm. is now at the front door yes. and it's melting. It's melting into another. Another cup of tea, uh, which T-H-E. is my word for the, and with I think the. I was talking about the fact that there's another the in there, yeah. but this doesn't interfere at all mm. with it. There are different so characters that, and different positions, so that's that works That's exactly great. right. Okay. So then my Almost igloo through. moves over here mm-hmm. to the left side of our building. This is the last word. And this is the last word, and in this, mm-hmm. I see my igloo standing there, beautiful, and the Lord, Lord. walking into the door of my of igloo. igloo. And the Lord is the last L-O-R-D. word. L-O-R-D. That's it, gang. All right. That is cool. All that's right. right. Okay. That's exactly. That's exactly how you memorize yeah. all of this in the structure in your memory environment. Absolutely. Okay. We'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> that's crazy. So, Gary, now so, that we have it all together in so our here's structure, what <laughs> here's what we have. Psalm 118, verse 17. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. That's right. Hallelujah. And what's amazing Mm -hmm. about this is because of this memory environment here, Mm -hmm. this holds this memory environment right here, down here on your structure, holds the bulk of all of the verse. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, I've woken up in the middle of the night, Gary, and had Irene doing all the things she does and the igloo doing all the things it does. And it is so true that you can jump around from place to place. Mm -hmm. I don't think I really particularly want to do that right now. You don't. I don't think I do, but you can. Mm -hmm. In fact, let me kind of drill Gary here on some of that. Well, let's drill each other, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, Let's say when you practice this. All right. Now, when you're writing on a board in front of people, you don't even have that there, but you see it right. all in your mind, okay? So let's say, uh, let's go igloo, position. Here's the four position one, roofs, side of the house, uh, uh, the bottom of the house, four, maybe the garage or, or whatever, you know. All right. So we're looking at igloo. Let's say um, 
um, right here, number three. This is this is position three. So position three for igloo, I put one, two, three, four, okay, is, so what do we see in position three? The. The. One, two, three. Remember what the igloo was doing in position three? If you don't, you run back on the video and mm -hmm. check it out. All right, now let's skip to somewhere else. Uh, let's look at uh, Irene, uh, position. Let, you, let me choose this time and you do one. Okay. Irene, position two. Position, uh, position two for Irene. I look in my mind's eye. I look up here. It, it would I, be right here on the right of the house. On the flower bed. And, and I see her just knotting up those... All those flowers, no, just making a no, mint. No. Just I don't know why you're doing that, you know. All right, but that's the knot. See? Okay. okay. Good. So anyway, uh, how about uh, we we do one more, and then okay. that, that'll be it for our, our our series here for our second session. Uh, how about uh, here we go, Ivan? Uh, oh, Ivan here. Uh, position. How about four? The. You know because what? I mm. see his tail swishing in a big cup of tea. Who, Ivan's? Horse. Oh, the horse. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, w what you did there is we have a the there and a the there, and but, she, they, they did not get mixed no, up. they didn't. Because they're different characters and they're different positions. See? But that's how, how it all works. And then, and then what you do is just go over the whole thing uh, frontwards, and, and then you practice backwards on it to lock it in really good. Okay? Because then what happens you come up with, after going through all this, it begins to live in your heart, and you say, I shall not die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But live. Mm -hmm. I shall not die, but mm -hmm. live yeah. and declare the, the works, works of, of the Lord. Lord. Amen. God bless you. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>